After my first chemotherapy treatment, I turned to the American Cancer Society just because that's when things start to get really real for you. I love to spend time with my family. My family is me and my wife, Allie, and then we have our daughter, Clara, she's seven. In 2018, I found a lump in my right breast and I went to the doctor to find out what was going on. I ended up being um, diagnosed with stage three, grade A, invasive ductal breast cancer. My whole life flashed before my eyes and I just felt like, oh, I'm gonna die. Breast cancer is very prevalent on both sides of my family. My grandmother actually passed away from breast cancer, so I was really scared because of that. The American Cancer Society was always so helpful, just first and foremost to know you're not alone. There are other people that went through exactly the same thing you're going through, and it's just nice to hear that you're not, you know, a total alien when you feel like one in your own skin. There's so many unknowns when someone is diagnosed. So I think having those discussion boards and that connection to other folks who were going through similar things was just such a good support system. Chemo round three. My wife during all of my treatment really was like a rock. I always tell her that she saved my life. She was there with me for every single treatment, every single appointment, everything. Obviously, that's the fire inside that drove me to keep going, which is another reason why I was fighting so hard. My family has a, a very intense um, history of breast cancer on my maternal side. So I just went into action mode of kind of assuming that role of a caretaker. My treatment in total was roughly about nine months. So it went chemo, surgery, then radiation. This past summer, my oncologist told me that she has no further concerns for my health and she fully believes that I have a long and healthy life ahead of me. When I received that news, I felt like I've been freed from kind of like a prison in a way. I remember at one point, this nurse sat down with us. She turned to Tashina and she said, you're gonna be able to watch your daughter grow up and watch her become an adult. And Tashina just started sobbing in that meeting. And for me, that was just like such a like powerful moment for us in this journey. It makes me feel hopeful, grateful, thankful, and just looking forward to the future and watching my daughter grow up. Cancer helped me realize that life is precious because I've worked so hard to have this life. I would say for people that are going through treatment, try to give all your energy to the positive things and the silver linings, and everything else will work itself out.